Hi, my name is Rebecca Maserick, and this is a video demonstration for my Lab 9 project. For this project, I made a robotic hand using a flex sensor, a breadboard with a potentiometer, Arduino controls, and five servo motors. I'm going to demonstrate this project by showing each servo bending the fingers. Here's the first finger bending in response to the flex sensor. Because there's only one flex sensor, I am using a potentiometer to determine which servo motor will be controlled at a time. I'm going to continue this video by showing the rest of the fingers on the hand bending in response to the same control by the potentiometer. Now we're going to switch gears and I'm going to talk about the processing and Arduino code for this project. Here is my Arduino code. I begin by including the servo library, which I use to control the servos. Before beginning my setup loop, I define four variables, the position variable, the pin variable, a variable for the potentiometer, and a variable for the flex sensor. In my setup, I establish communication at a 9600 baud rate. In the loop, I begin by reading the analog signal from the flex sensor, where it always falls between 0 and 1023. However, for values less than 50 or greater than 800, I reset these values. This ensures that even if the flex sensor is not entirely straight or perfectly bent all the way, it will still control the motor the way I want it to. The flex sensor values are then mapped to go from 0 to 180 for the position variable. Next, I read in the flex sensor and potentiometer readings. With each iteration of the loop, the position is then printed to the serial monitor and later used in processing. After printing those values to the serial monitor, I use the potentiometer readings to determine which servo motor is going to rotate according to the position, which ranges from 0 to 180 degrees. Now I'm going to discuss my processing code, where I use inputs from the Arduino serial monitor to graphically represent which finger is bending and what angle of rotation the servo motor is at. From the Arduino, each line I print two values the position followed by a tab space, and then the pin number. In this section of processing, I'm extracting these values and using them later for my graphing. Here I set up text where I label each finger and a section on the axis where I go from 0 to 180 degrees. Now I use the pin number to determine which finger is being controlled and then assigning a Y value, which I use for graphing the position from 0 to 180 in the rectangle function. In one of my last steps, I type and include the active position reading of the servo motor at the bottom left of the screen I'm about to show. Here is a screenshot of finger 1 when it is at 180 degrees, and you can see on the bottom left that it is at 180. This screenshot shows when finger 3 is bending and is an example when the position is very low at 6 degrees instead of 180, for example. Now I'll show what this looks like in live time. 